we are going to see what's the future of magazine. I presume most of you here are publishers or people who are closely associated with the magazine industry or publication industry. So, I mean, I'm going to the specifics of the magazine industry and the future of magazine industry. See, according to the market sources, the size of the magazine industry is like 40 billion. That is for digital magazine. That is that is a market size people are projected in the next 10 years. And the global market size can go up to $150 billion. So these are the numbers we are talking about here today. As you know, the typical problem for any publishers is like the rising publishing cost. The cost of the papers are going up. The cost of, I mean, all the service providers for uh, uh, the typical print media is going up. The distribution costs are going up. And more predominantly, I mean, uh, you don't get a real-time sales reporting. As a publisher, as a small-time publisher or a mid-sized publisher, you send your magazines to the market and uh, you don't have a sales report after like three months. The distributors can correct whatever, I mean, sales report in another like 12 months. So, I mean, you are, you are completely kept in dark for like the next 12 months if you are on the print media. This, these are the most common problems associated with the physical print media. And very importantly to note, the print magazine sales has gone down drastically. That is because of the increase in the digital magazines and uh, magazines availability on various e-media. So, I mean, I can say roughly around like 10 to 15 percentage of uh, the print uh, sales has gone down right now. So, what, what are, I mean, how publishers are handling right now? So, they are trying to actively find out a way where they can increase their sales and that's one of the key factor for any publishers as a business. They try to look at the new digital ways of uh, I mean, sending out their magazines to the worldwide market because mostly what happens is typically your magazine, your print magazine gets restricted towards certain geography. It doesn't go beyond that. And the cost of, I mean, sending your magazine uh, to, I mean, any other country is like, I mean, too much. So <clears throat> they need to expand their uh, reader's base. They need to go digital and they need to reduce their costs. These are the technical challenges in front of a print publisher, print magazine. So how do we do that? Let's say, I mean, uh, a publisher has gone ahead and decided to publish a mobile app for his own magazine. What would be his mindset? I am going to spend X amount of dollars and I'm going to publish my magazine as a mobile application. The first question is, which mobile should I be on? Should I be on iPad? Should I be on iPhone? Should I be on Android phones? They call Motorola Zoom, which is equivalent to iPad. Should I be on Blackberry? Should I be on... This is the first question any publisher will have and mostly everybody is driven towards Apple's way and everybody tends to go towards iPad way, which is a good thing, but you may not know, I mean, the real potential of other platforms until you publish your magazines over there. That's one of the critical problem when you talk about the mobile app as a standalone app. So <clears throat> the best bet is, I mean, when you go as a mobile app, let me talk about the advantages of a mobile app. Your cost of publication goes down drastically because you don't need to spend a lot of money uh, making your magazine uh, go to printer, print it, talk to your distributor, distribute it. The distributor takes a lot of uh, margin and then uh, you get your money back. Maybe you get your money back. So there are a lot of problem in that. So your cost of uh, publishing your magazine goes down drastically if you decide to go digital. And there is a tremendous revenue potential. When I mean revenue potential, like I said, when you go on mobile, you are not restricted to any geography. You can publish your magazine across, I mean, any country. So, I mean, a reader from uh, uh, Europe or a reader from London can still read your magazines without any problem because you are reaching out to him through the mobile application. That's the best bet of mobile apps. And uh, one of the key, key area, I mean, uh, which, which is addressed here in this digital world is sales reporting. The sales reporting is instantaneous, meaning you are, if you sell a magazine now, you are going to have your report online or somewhere. So you know that your magazine has been sold. 
and uh, if if anybody subscribes to your magazine for like say 12 issues or 54 issues then you are going to know about it immediately instantaneously that's the best bet of digital magazines and of course there is uh, no time to market your magazine the moment you have your digital publication ready you publish it to uh, the app mobile application and it's available immediately to the market to the audience worldwide and the very important aspect of digital ma i mean uh, magazine is you are going to address the next next generation of uh, the readers today typically what happens is all the mobile uh, let me go about i mean uh, <coughs> the readers of uh, the magazines who are i mean like say uh, readers for the past like 10 years or 20 years you have to make them go digital you have to push them to go digital but there is a whole set of people who want to read all the magazines as digital magazine rather than go and buy print magazine so those are the set of i mean people you are going to address by going digital all right now i have decided to do a mobile application for my magazine so what's the next step you choose a provider you choose your technology lot of things are involved you don't know how to move forward you know you have to go mobile you know you have to choose uh, something uh, going forward on the digital platform the potential problem in doing a mobile application stand alone mobile application is the platform selection you may not know which platform you may need to invest in uh you will be confused whether you have to invest on ipad like i said you, you you may not be sure of investing on android or blackberry that's the that's the first question in your mind right say let let's say uh for example you are decided to go on ipad let me let me decide on who is going to develop my application do i have a team in house to do my application or do i outsource my application or do i outsource my development activities to some other country and get my mobile app done that's the biggest challenge in front of you okay i mean uh, hoping that you are addressing that problem you find somebody who can do a mobile application for a magazine what is the cost of the development somebody will say it's like 100000 dollars to develop a mobile application on ipad for a magazine somebody else will say 150000 somebody will say like half a million so who do i choose what is the cost i have got what is the returns i will get on my investment everything is a question mark because today in the in the past like 18 months many people have launched lot of stand alone mobile apps stand alone i mean as i mean ipad user i have downloaded more than like 70 or 80 stand alone magazines out of interest but the potential problem i see in most of the stand alone app is the way it is getting updated are they reaching your mobile application on time the day you are going on the i mean market through physical print is that the same day you are launching a digital magazine also lot of i mean mobile magazine applications today launch like after 15 days or 10 days because of lot of technical difficulties and other factors associated the technology provider it depends on the technology provider it de depends on the complexity of the technology it depends on lot of other factors because the, the whole idea of going digital going mobile is making your magazine available instantaneously when you are when your i mean entire property is ready if i wait for like 15 days or 3 weeks to get my digital version out there it doesn't make any sense so the idea is i mean the the day you have your magazine ready you need to be out there in the market you should not be waiting just because your technology is complex just because your technology provider is sleeping on it just because you cannot contact the technology provider so that's that's a very critical challenge okay now i have developed my application i have chosen my technology provider i have decided on my budget i have done it i have sent it to the market how do i maintain my app as you know i mean most of the users i'm sure i mean will be owning an ipad or iphone whatever you call it as the amount of updates that apple is giving to its devices is like amazing you get an update of operating system every like 10 days or 15 days and it's not so easy for a technology provider to come and contact you and make a upgrade of your application to make sure the application that you have built works on the new version of the iPad or iPhone so again you are we are talking about spending lot of money and your technology provider will start 
requesting for more money because he has to upgrade your application. So the potential problem here is you have done your application, you cannot like forget about it for the next three years. You have to keep spending money over and over, over and over to make sure your application works on all the platform with all the updates. That's, that's a very critical problem. <coughs> Like I said, I found like 71 magazine apps, standalone apps on the App Store. How did I find? Somebody called me and said, you know what, you should read People Magazine on iPad. So I downloaded it. Somebody called and said, uh, you know, you should read Time Magazine. It's cool on iPad. So I downloaded it. <laughs> you really can't find those magazines on the App Store. Discoverability is the problem. Those are all big guys. The tier one guys can easily promote their magazines <coughs> or any media. So their reachability is very easy. When we talk about the next line of magazines, promotion becomes the very critical line item. Unless you are discovered on the app store, you are not going to get downloaded. Nobody is going to download and use you. That's the potential problem here. So how do, how do you make your mobile apps discoverable? That's the challenge in front of you because there are like already half a million apps available on the iTunes app store. There are already like handful of apps available on other stores like Android, Blackberry. So wherever you go, discoverability is the key. Again, you are going to chase some of the mobile marketing guys or the PR guys to promote your application. And again, we are talking about spending a lot of money. All right. Now that I mean I have done all these things, somehow I am managing to make my magazines discoverable to a certain amount of population. I have got another magazine. As a publisher, you are not restrict, restricted to doing only one magazine. You, are, you can do like n number of magazines. So you have the second magazine in, on your table. So how do you roll over? So call the same technology provider. Call uh, the same guys who you are dealing with for digital magazines and spend the same amount of money, maybe slightly less than that. So we are talking about another set of money and again, another set of complexity for you to deal with. We are also now talk, going to talk about the user, user adoption. Uh, it's I think linked with discoverability. In discoverability, we talked about how people can find your magazine, how they can download you, how they can start experiencing you. In the user adoption, let's go in to the experience level that you have to give to your users. Today, like there are like many trends in digital mobile apps. One is spend like half a million or a million or four million or five million dollars, create a cutting edge mobile app, which can do a lot of things, but is that what the readers need? That's the question mark. Are the readers or the mobile app community or the mobile app users ready to experience such kind of mobile applications? That's, that's in front of you. You need to solve that problem. I have seen a lot of tier one magazines doing, spending a lot of money and then sending their application out to the market. And as a user experience, you need to download at least like 800 MB of data per issue. Is that what the user needs right now? You have to wait for the 800 uh, megabytes of data to download and then start reading your magazine. And the experience that you are going to give because everybody is fighting to set a trend. So somebody says, I have to scroll the page vertically. Somebody says, I have to, hey, I have to stay horizontally. I don't want to go vertically. Somebody says, my ad should flow in. Somebody says, my ad should rotate 360 degrees. Nobody knows as a user whether those I mean, features are already available inside the app unless you start exploring the app. Which means you should be the owner of the app or you should be the interested party of the app. Or somebody should come and sit next to you and explain about all the features. Uh, that's, that's, I mean, that's what we, what we are trying to do here is address what, what user needs at this point of time. Get him onto board and give him what he wants and slowly give him more and more. So you don't give more than what he wants at this point of time. <coughs> to address everything, whatever the potential problem that a publisher has, we have created a global mobile magazine store called Magster. Today I'm going to talk about Maxter a bit 
and I think you are a privileged group to hear about Maxwell because we have not yet launched. So you are going to get some preview of what Maxwell does and we are uh, planning to launch in another couple of weeks. So the potential problem that we are solving here today is I have as a publisher, I have my digital content ready. How should I go forward? Should I be contacting the technology provider? Should I be contacting all the independent stores to publish my magazines? What should I do? Forget about all the problem. This global mobile magazine store will get your content. It's a self-service platform which can get your content and render your content and send your content to all the mobile platforms, whatever you name it. So you can reach your iPhone, you can reach your iPad, you can reach your Blackberry playbook, you can reach any of the Android devices you call Galaxy Tab or Motorola Zoom, you can be there. So you have an opportunity to reach all the devices just a click away. And this is a self-service platform. By self-service I mean you don't need to contact us to publish your magazine. You have your own control panel where you go and upload your magazine, you are done. The moment you upload your magazine, you will be shown on the store. How we typically do this? As a publisher, you just put your magazines onto the Magster area, administrative area, and uh, we have a technology which is sitting on Amazon Cloud, which renders all your content and sends it to the devices uh, which the users are using. So we identify what kind of devices, whether it's a small form factor or it's a tablet or it's a galaxy tab size or whatever it, you call it, we send the content based on the device. See the idea here is instant availability. Once you upload your magazine, your magazine is going to be available instantaneously. And more importantly, we are trying to solve here the real time sales track report. So every publisher will have their own administrative area where they can see every half an hour or every hour or every minute whenever they want to see how much they have done, what numbers we are talking about in terms of sales, weekly report, monthly report, everything is available to the publisher, just a click away and it's a self-service. The best part here is we have multiple categories on our store where you can publish your magazines and we have a very powerful search feature for the users to locate and find and discover your magazine. For example, if anybody of you are, I mean here are publishing any kind of uh, political magazines, you get some sort of keywords to be set for your magazine and the magazine reader can go ahead and search into the store saying political magazines or political news and your magazine will be thrown up in the result page with other magazines who are dealing with. So it's it's a best part for you to promote along with your competitors. Say somebody looking for your competitive publication will get an opportunity to, to see your magazine too. So it's like, I mean, you are getting discovered at every point of time inside the store. This is how the store is going to look like and you're going to have, uh, if, if you, anybody of you have used like iBooks, you will know the concept is very similar to this. I mean, we have a shelf concept where you pick up all your favorite magazines, send it to your shelf and have a quick access to the issues that the magazine sends out. We are not just talking about a plain magazine here plain digital magazine. We are also talking about highly interactive digital content which includes video, audio and everything is self-serviced, no cost for you. There are like providers if you go and say you want to publish your uh, video content onto the magazine, they charge X amount of dollars for every issue or if you want to publish some audio content or if you want to hyperlink some of the, I mean, I mean, advertising article or your own articles. Everything is going to cost you additional money. What we are trying to achieve here is, what we have achieved here is, everything comes to you free of cost. Everything is a self-service basis. And we have got tutorials, which is like self-readable and you can see it and do it yourself in like five minutes. You don't really need to come back to us if you know how to create a Facebook profile, then you can do this. 
if you know how to register yourself with yahoo or hotmail you can come and do this that's the simplicity we are bringing here currently we are available on the apple store and the android store we are planning to launch it on these two stores because we think these two stores are very potential for any publisher to monetize and uh, we completely adhere to apple's in app purchase because i mean apple wants 30% cut and it's inevitable for any publisher i mean to go by apple standards so so what what we are talking here is i mean you need to somehow make up your mind to lose the 30% and try and compare your losses that you are making with the physical print media suppose say the cost per magazine for you i mean on the physical media is like 5 dollar and if you are selling it for like say 7 dollars what are you getting back maybe 50 cents maybe 25 cents per magazine issue and if you look at the digital version if your magazine is 7 dollars and if you are selling at 5 or 6 we are talking about a 2 dollar return per issue minimum and the cost associated with it with it is i mean nothing nothing because i mean you are not going to send it to print or you are not going to talk to the distributor we are there as a store we take some percentage of your revenue and apple takes some chunk of it and everything balance is yours so we are talking here i mean potentially making up to like 200% or 300% more than what you make in the physical print sales i think i am running out of time maybe another 2 minutes okay. and we are also launching on blackberry playbook <coughs> and samsung bada platform because <coughs> excuse me like i said we are the technology platform provider and we worry about what all the features that we need to bring in and what all the platforms we need to touch base today as a store we are available on iphone ipad and android devices and like in say another 3 or 4 weeks we are going to be available on playbook and bada platform and stuff like that more devices and more platforms are going to come on and more updates on operating system is going to happen everything is on us you don't need to really worry on it all you need to worry is how do i publish my magazine on maxter and learn how to publish your magazine on maxter in like 5 minutes get your magazine ready and send it to us and everything is done you are mobile enable you can be a proud publisher saying i i gone mobile by spending maybe 1000th of what you might you i mean you could have potentially spent on making your own application that's what we are talking about and if you need more information or a kind of demonstration on what we have done and what maxter is all about you can visit us uh, at our stall we are here next door uh, stall number 311 and uh, i'm sure you will be all uh, uh, the elite group in maxter because we are going to launch with your publications on board hopefully and looking forward i mean uh, to having your publications on maxter thank you and uh, if you have any questions i have I'm, i mean i have like 2 or 3 minutes to go please feel free to share just real quick early on in your presentation you talked about the market size mm -hmm. i think 40 billion mm -hmm. um, what year was that that is uh, uh, the projection for the next 5 years <coughs> sure you collect from the subscribers and how do you make it available to the publishers there's a good question every every platform has got their own restrictions for example i mean if i say it's a mandatory for maxter store to collect user email id apple doesn't like it apple hates it because they want to be monopoly you, they don't want users to be identified by the platform so it's an option what we are trying to do here is we are trying to either collect the email id or their facebook i mean one important feature that i missed out i mean during my presentation is if you have a facebook login you can just log into the maxter account and 
you can start purchasing your magazines. And that's a viral promotion for the publishers. So when I buy a magazine copy, your magazine copy through Magster, I have an option to publish the message or post the message on my wall saying that I just bought so-and-so magazine from Magster. And all your friends on Facebook will get an opportunity to see it. That's a viral marketing we are betting on. So I'm sure that will benefit the publisher in a lot of ways. So we collect, to answer your question, we collect user email. That's a very important line item as an option. So if the user has given the email ID, we share it with the publishers. But even on the other platforms that aren't Apple-based, can't you collect more data? Not restricted. See, that's up to the, I mean, you can keep collecting data, but how far, I mean, the users are ready to give. We are trying to bring a seamless purchase experience. All they need to do is download the application. In one click, they need to buy the magazine. Rather than they going on to some web form and filling up all the details and coming back or typing in data is a pain for the user. We don't want to lose the impulse purchase option. So we want to get the users to buy the magazines and give you revenue. <coughs> I just want to say, okay, one last question. Okay. So just so I'm clear, I came in a little bit late. The end user accesses the content via the Magster app. Exactly. So so the publisher actually doesn't have a branded native application. If you go and launch your own mobile application, yeah, you will have your own brand. It can be on the App Store. How do you make it discoverable? How do you, I mean, go and tell the market that you have an application and you have a brand sitting on the App Store? You have to advertise on every media and spend a lot of money. So that doesn't make any sense for the publisher, especially on tier two and tier three. So, I mean, forget about it. You publish, I mean, today on physical print, what you are doing, you are sending your magazines to your distributor. You are not setting up your own shops. You are sending it to your distributors and your distributors take care of your sales. The same you are replicating over here.